Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South and I'm here at Eco Shed. I'm here with Barrett. We just did a vlog telling you all about the, um, the Eco Shed here in Jackson, Mississippi. The story is absolutely great. I wanted to do a tour so that y'all could see everything. So Barrett's gonna give that to us. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm going to, y'all know that I'm sometimes technically challenged. Okay, here we go. So we're going to come through. So Barrett, let's walk through and show us everything. When you walk through the door, I'm walking through the front door right now. Hey, Scooter, I'm walking through the front door right now. We're going to go through here. We're going to go to this room to the left. There's a little sitting area right here that I think is really great for meetups and things like that. So tell me what this room right here is. So this, this space um, that we're standing in is the atrium, and it is the primary space for our hot desk co-working, as well as the events that we host. Um, and then this space next door is a public-facing meeting room. This is a, a great place to meet with clients, talk with people who are interested in memberships, um, introduce people to the space. Also, a lot of offices in town like to come here for a retreat um, or whether they're hosting a workshop. This is a really great space for that. It really is. Um, and, and it is private. This big door does shut, so it is private, door. which is really awesome. That's really um, great. Then you walk through here. This is the... This is the atrium. So we have our self-serve cafe. We have um, work, work tables. We also have lounge areas better for studying or um, just having a more relaxed work setting. This is our in-house bar where we serve um, bar services to all of our events that we host. Oh, awesome. Um, and full it's... bar. Uh, this is our stage area. We have workstations there during the week and um, on the weekends or after hours, we can do various event setups on there. Uh, moving on, we have our food lab. So as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, we have a food lab membership for people interested in food entrepreneurship. Um, we have a full service commercial kitchen um, with all the bells and whistles. Oh, wow. Um, this is a great way for people who are interested in food business to get access to a commercial kitchen space um, without having all the traditional overhead of starting a business. You can come rent out our space and get your feet wet. This is a beautiful, beautiful area through here. This is awesome. Any chef would be just delighted in here, especially like you said, it's a huge investment yeah. to do that. This is something that would really get their feet wet. We made the investment so that food entrepreneurs didn't have to. Mm -hmm. And we also enable them to rent the space to host pop-ups, expose people to their business and to their food, um, and create an, uh, a following around them. Um, now we're entering into the private collab. This is also a work area. This is a little more private. We have designated desks and private offices in here. So this is for um, those who want a more rigid work schedule and need more um, storage space and more privacy for the work that they do. Um, they have access to this kitchenette here, um, business mailboxes, and this is another conference room. Oh, this is a nice conference room. Wow. And our members have access to business printing, all membership levels. Yeah. Right now we have our 3D printer working on a model. So the designers of the space, Carbon Office, um, do other um, built projects. And 3D printing is one of their favorite ways to communicate um, a scheme or a plan that they're working on. That is neat. I love technology. Yeah. Um, another interesting thing about EcoShed is that it fosters entrepreneurship. So as I mentioned, I'm general manager here, but I've also been able to start an entirely separate business um, out of this space. Uh, it's a bit messy because I just finished processing a flower order. Um, uh -huh. This is a full design studio and I work with preserved flowers and fresh flowers and I like to create um, unique arrangements and installations. Well, that's really cool because you have your own little workspace yeah. to do that, okay? And I also take care of all the plants in the, in the building. So oh, wow. I provide plantscaping services. So you have um, several. the progress, we are installing some carpet. Oh, good. Well, we love evol evolution evolving as you go. Yeah. Okay. This is an example of one of our private spaces. Oh, nice. So, um, they come in here and they just work in their space? Two separate um, consultants work in here. They have separate businesses, but they're friends, and so they rent the space together. And That's they awesome. made it their own. Um, here's another. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, just imagine 
having this here. Plus, you're not by yourself, mm -hmm. which is great. Yes, exactly. And here's another one, mm -hmm. which is great. Yep. So now we're going to check out some of the um, anchor tenants that we have, um, which is really interesting because they add something totally different to the space. Mm -hmm. And here we have the flamingo. The Flamingo is a curated vintage oh, wow. and clothing shop. Oh, wow. Um, they're also the host of our monthly Jackson Flea Market, where uh, vendors come from all over Jackson and sell their handmade goods. Wow, um, it's beautiful in here. Yeah. You just, <laughs> every room we go into, it's just like, wow. Yeah. Get a full service oh, wow. salon after work, during work, on your lunch break. Get a little pampered. Y'all, this is so beautiful in here. It smells so clean, too. Oh, it's beautiful. So there's a salon in here. Yeah. So if I worked here, you know what I would be doing? Getting my hair done every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's exactly. beautiful. The Eco Shed houses a lot of different entities, doesn't it? It does. We love to attract small business owners, um, people who want to be around others and want to be inspired by the work of others and who want to collaborate and share a space. This is the kitchenette, which is awesome. We're going to go back through the atrium and we're going to walk outside to the... We're going to head outside, we're going to look at our courtyard and we're also going to see um, the farming operation, which many people are surprised to find out is on the same site as this industrial workspace. All right, but this is a different view right through here. Coming through here, you can see the coffee bar, which is nice. All right, this is the outside area we talked about. You could have the events, or if you work here, you can just come out here and get your, some fresh air. It is beautiful out here. Please forgive the foliage. It yeah, is February. Yeah, it is February, but I know it's beautiful. There's no doubt about we it. We have a lot of tropical plants out here that make for a really pleasant work environment. Um, bistro tables, picnic tables, a stage. We've had weddings out here. I mean, this could be transformed into just about anything. Yeah. All right, so we're going to stop right here. I'm just going to video from here. So tell us what we're looking at. So what we're looking at now is Fertile Ground Farms in the front. Mm -hmm. um, Fertile Ground Farms is a chemical-free quarter-acre um, urban farm. And Sam Humphrey is the owner. He grows produce and... Um, uh, right now he's got strawberries in the ground. Mm. Um, last year he had over 4,000 strawberry plants. Oh wow. Yeah. That's probably his most famous crop and he looks forward to um, doing it every year even though it's very labor intensive. Right. I must say he has the best strawberries I've ever had. So out here in these buildings out there. So behind him is Wormworks. Uh -huh. Wormworks is owned by Matt Castile. Um, he is an organic um, worm composting business. Mm -hmm. So he takes food waste from local restaurants, uh, food waste from our cafe, and he um, composts it using worms. Um, and he creates organic fertilizers and um, uh, soils. Gotcha. And then on the right are my two greenhouses for my interior plantscaping business. So oh, I, cool. I store tropical plants out there, um, and I also have, host a monthly plant market as part of the Jackson Flea. So we're going to walk back through here, y'all. There's places to sit out here. If you are a member here, it's a great place. It's not that cold this morning, and it would be great to come out here and just get a you know, yeah. bit of fresh air. And also, I wanted to talk about the building design and how <sighs> it is a sustainable design. Let's go in here where we can see you. Okay. I'm sorry. The, the lighting, as y'all know, this is live, so I have to move where the lighting is good because I want him to tell us. Uh oh, he's gonna let me in. <laughs> Should have known. access to keep our members um, safe and Absolutely. Keep distractions at a minimum. Okay, so go ahead and tell us. I'm gonna turn this around while you, when you finish telling us the design and then we'll. So you can see behind us is the um, north facing curtain wall. Um, this allows all north facing lighting into the building which reduces solar heat gain. So that reduces our need for mechanical systems to heat and cool the building, um, saving wow. on energy. We also have a sawtooth roof design, um, which captures rainwater 
and funnels it into a 3,000 gallon cistern, which we can see right here. I see it. Um, we can just poke our heads out. <laughs> so this is what a 3,000 gallon cistern looks like. Oh wow, it's the beautiful teal. This here. Yes. Love it. And that stores water. Um, I use that to water the plants inside. And during last year's winter storm, um, Farmer Sam used it to water all of his crops. Oh, wow. So that came in handy. And that's one of the benefits of on-site resources. And that's part of being eco, eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Exactly. So anything else you want to say? And thank you so much for giving me the tour. It's absolutely beautiful in here. Y'all, if y'all want a tour, just call down here, talk to uh, Barrett or Salam, and they will give you a tour. It's beautiful. You must come see this. It's awesome. If you're looking for something to do, um, an office space or an ev anything for an event, come and check this place out. It can be transformed in just about anything. Exactly. Thank All right, y'all. Thank y'all for joining us, and we'll see you around the town.